and welcome back to Behind the Bands, a show where we get a closer look at local musicians and performers. I'm your host, Savvy Ray, and today we're going to get behind Violets Are Blue, an alternative rock band from Lamar, Missouri. Violets Are Blue is a three-piece band with Mark Costley on guitar and lead vocals, David Booth on bass, and Sam Percy on drums. We're going to start off with their song, Mammoth. Here is Violets Are Blue. <laughs> Now that we've had a chance to hear them play, we have Mark, David, and Sam in the studio to tell us more about themselves. Welcome to the show. Could each, each of you uh, guys introduce yourselves to us? Yeah. yeah. Um, hey, I'm Sam, and I play drums in Violets Are Blue. Um, I'm Mark, and I play guitar, and I uh, sing. I'm David, and I play bass and write the bass parts for the songs. Um, so how did the band get started, and like, how long have you guys been playing together? Um, it's been, it's been a long, long time coming, but it's probably been about three years, about four three. years. Yeah. yeah, so 2019, 2020, we really got things rolling. What made you guys decide on this, like, genre of music? Um, I don't know. It just seemed to happen naturally, you know put everything in the bucket and stir it up and you just pour it out. 
Was there like bands or anything that has inspired you or? Um, man, probably a little bit of everything. Um, not too much any direction. I'm not even sure. I mean, I'm sure there's people out there who have like eight ideas, but I don't. <laughs> Um, can you all tell us a little bit about the your latest album, Wabi Sabi? Sure, yeah. Um, basically, it was just our first album, something we put a lot of work in, a lot of songs that we played a lot of shows to, um, lots of shows, and we decided, you know, it's time to put our foot down and really get this out there for people to hear and can stream it and check it out and not just have to come to a show, so. Yeah, and uh, we worked with uh, Pamu Rufio, and Studio 2C, and that was a good experience overall. Um, <clears throat> turned out the way we wanted it at the end of it, and um, we're really glad because uh, we're really proud of it, and uh, we've been on the promotional train for months, and uh, we got a lot coming up this summer for it. The name of the album, where did that come from? That's my mark. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know, it's kind of one of those phrases that stuck with me because of the meaning um it is kind of a an eastern um concept of uh you know affection um through like more of like what that person means to you or and i thought and re rather than the physical aspects and i thought if we as a culture i don't know just kind of applied that to you know, maybe not your relationships, but just things in general, like imperfection mm -hmm. and um, yeah, perfectionism is really just a concept that's been shoved down your throat. So I don't know. It was just kind of a kind of a good. I thought it was a good stamp yeah. for the overall vibe. Yeah. Yeah. No, I really like the name. It, it sounds cool. It's fun to say. Yeah, so. it, is, it is really fun to say. Yeah, that's for sure. We'll be back with Violets Are Blue. Let's hear some more of their music. Here is Soap.
back with Violets of Blue. Welcome back. Can you guys tell us a little more about that song? Um, yeah, that was one that really came together more of in a practice. I mean, I had to, <clears throat> I'd come up with that um, riff, and uh, we have really good cohesion um, when it comes to playing. So a lot of our things kind of wind themselves out. So this only took like a jam or two before it was formatted, and uh, this is probably one of our quicker songs we ever made. Yeah. Uh, in general, what's the songwriting process like? Is it a, a group effort? Um, usually, I'll come in with a uh, guitar and uh, the, the song mostly formatted. And uh, I'll take it in here and we'll jam on it. We'll tweak some stuff and then uh, we'll record it. And then usually I'll write the lyrics on top of it. And uh, that just seems to be a well-oiled machine we have going. Yeah. Um, we got, we've been cranking and probably have um, four or five new ones uh, just this last couple months from that. So it, it works very well for us. And you mentioned um, your recording process. Like, is that a local studio or where um, was that? Yeah, he's um, in downtown Joplin, um, Studio 2C. Yeah, um, it's a. Uh, yeah, he's got everything you'd want, and uh, he works with lots of people. So yeah. um, we were really um, lucky to have the opportunity to be one of them. Are, do you guys have any plans for like any more studio work anytime soon? Or yeah, yep. um, as far as <laughs> um, we're concerned, we're planning on at least at least one release. Um, we're shooting for a few. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, um, we're definitely taking strides towards that. Um, um, that's been on my mind for a while. Now. A while. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. Well, let's hear some more Violets of Blue. Up next is Dark Blue. <laughs>
Back of Violets or Blue, how often do you guys have shows like in the Joplin area and what are some of your favorite venues? All right. Um, so how many shows do we often have in Joplin? We probably do about one a month, one every two months or so. We're trying to get away from Joplin and play it more out there and get more going yeah, for us. Yeah, in, in the Joplin base. area for sure. Yeah, yeah, probably only like one or two a month. Yeah. yeah, we've been working on other places as of right now, but um, we've been really um, hitting Joplin hard, and we appreciate everyone who comes out. Um, it's always a good crowd. And, uh, yeah, we really like um, the Pillar it is a great venue. Um, Blackthorn Pub has been really awesome. Um, let's see, the Dig It Record Barn is an awesome outdoor venue, and, uh, yeah. Really good that's, I mean, yeah, that's, that's basically yeah. the... Do you guys play any outside of Joplin, or...? Um, yeah, we play a little bit in Pittsburgh, and, uh, we have, um, something brewing in Springfield right now, so yeah. that's exciting. And yeah. just odds and ends show, yeah. like, you know, we might have to drive a few hours. Yep, we've done some stuff traveling. Nice. Um, what direction do you guys see, like, the music going in the future? Do you have goals and, like, plans for the summer you mentioned? <coughs> yeah, I mean, there's definitely room for improvement um, just overall, all the time. So we've been uh, striving to be um, an even, you know, just a, a unit that actually gets a little farther down the road mm -hmm. and uh, just sees what happens. I mean, like, these came together really fast, and a lot of them were done. So we're really excited to see um, what we can churn out um, together with our process and um, yeah, yeah, see what we can come out with this year. Uh, plans for the summer, um, we're doing a bunch of weekend shows back to back to back beneath totality. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And we've got a show with the uh, Eye Creatures at uh, the ballroom, the Odyssey, so it's a lower stage in Springfield. Mm -hmm. So we're I excited for that. We've got a lot of good things yeah, coming. March 18th. Um, what are some like ways that... Uh, Supporters can like help support you guys, find you guys, platforms, etc. Um, so we're on uh, Spotify, Apple Music, um, every every pretty much platform yep. you could think of. Um, if you want to reach us, you mm -hmm. know, contact us. Um, Instagram, Facebook, on the band page is great. Um, that is very helpful, so all three of us mm -hmm. can see it and kind of look at it, go through it. So and you can uh, access our email and number through our socials as well. And, um, yeah, and our music can be found pretty much wherever you stream. And uh, we do have discs on the way to be purchased. And so, yeah, look out for shows and hit us up on our, on our social media accounts. And um, you can even say something and um, say hi if you uh, saw this and thought it rocked. <laughs> you guys have merch, right? Yes. Yeah, we have um, merch. <laughs> yeah, we have nice, nice merch. shirt, nice shirt. Yeah, those, we have those shirts, and we have some new album shirts with the track list on the back, 
And um, right now, uh, we're working on an online merch store. But right now, the best way to get those is to show up or run yes. into one of us. Or heck, yeah. if you're anywhere close, you could just you know send us a message and uh, see what we can do. We've also got uh, CDs on the way, and they will be here at March 8th, and that is of Wabi Sabi. We've been, it's, we've been really taking advantage of it um, to try and prepare for what we do have prepared for the summer. Um, we have plenty upwards. Thank you all so much for being on the show. It's been great having you. This has been a talk with Violets or Blue. Again, I'm your host, Sabi Ray. Before we go tonight, they're going to leave us with one last song. Here is Downed. <laughs>